morning you guys welcome to move-in day vlog I think we've said that a couple of times but today is Monday it's our actual move-in day we're moving into our house and we are very excited to baby let it come to you sleep in our own beds and to see the house for the first time so um, if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up and I wanted to mention this because I don't think we've mentioned this yet we have not actually seen the interior of our house but we've rented it so pictures. we've seen pictures but we haven't like done a walkthrough or anything like that we kind of did a sight unseen rental um, however we did have friends kind of scope it out for us and look inside and see what they think but anyway so I just want to share that little detail because it's gonna be really exciting for us today because we've never seen the interior so we're excited to see it and get settled in um, to our new normal I want to show you guys the scenery really quick because this is beautiful we haven't drove down this way I don't think yet look at these mountains it's so pretty it's so pretty and you guys the weather forecast was cloudy today but um, this is not even half as bad as Washington, Washington clouds, so. cloudy is different. yeah how are you feeling about it babe I'm really excited feeling really good we're um, yeah we're it's finally here it's time to get stuff finalized and move in and we're excited and yeah yeah so excited. right now we are headed to apparently one of the best donut spots in Arizona I guess it's like the locals favorite donut spot it's called Boza I think that's how you say it or yeah. Bo Boza Boza, Boza? Uh -huh. something like that uh -huh. anyway so we are headed there Opal and Wyatt and then we're gonna get our friends some donuts and I'm gonna get a coffee because that sounds mm -hmm. delicious I'm really excited about coffee. I am loving all of the palm trees here. I, you know, growing up with just evergreens, which are beautiful, don't get me wrong. It's just fun to see the, di the diversity and just difference. The yeah, yeah, landscaping is so cool and I just like seeing different parts of um, the U.S. and how it changes. So it's been kind of fun to see the landscaping changes. How giant that house is. I know, you guys, that seriously, all of the houses here are so huge. Big. They're huge, yeah. Look at that house, that's like a school. Yeah, and something Wyatt and I had noticed that we were talking about yesterday is just how much space there is here. Um, it's spread out, but it's nice because in between you get to drive 45, 50 miles an hour, so it doesn't even take you that long to get anywhere, but yet you have space in between. Yeah, because in Washington it's like 25 miles an hour, I'm not even exaggerating. Slow. So it's like really unless slow, you're on a highway. unless you're on a highway, which even then it's, you know, 60 miles an hour, 65 miles an hour, so. Yeah, but we're just we're just enjoying the changes a little bit, and I think that that's perfectly okay to admit that. I think that that's good to be honest about how we feel about it, and yeah. that's how we're feeling about it. So, Opal, how do you like Zona? Do you like it? You like Zona? You like Arizona? Just kidding, did you hear her? Getting a donut. Opal, what kind are you gonna get? You gonna get chocolate? We got our donuts. Woohoo! And we've got a fussy little baby in the back seat because she's wanting her donut now. Um, but fun little story. We didn't vlog in there because it's really tiny and there were a couple of families in there. Um, this older gentleman was in front of us and he looked back and I kind of saw this little like sparkle in his eye. And um, we came up to the register to pay for our donuts. We got half a dozen donuts and he paid for our order um, ahead of us, which I, which I, I can't talk. <laughs> which I thought was so sweet. How kind is that? It's just funny because we, this literally this entire trip, everyone we've engaged with has been so kind to us and nice. Yes. And then to have that happen this morning, the day of moving, like someone buy you donuts, like, Arizona, you're impressing the yeah. heavens. Um, everyone Sweet. we've met here has been so kind. Seriously. That is, I mean, we've met some people already that were like, we've already met our next door neighbor too, which is they cool. They were really nice. And they were very friendly and nice. Um, it just feels right. It feels right for us for this season of life. And we're just really grateful to be here and experience something different. Cool. Um, it's pretty cool. Wyatt keeps telling me that it feels like Hawaii it outside, well, which when, is funny. When it rains, because it when rained it rains. yesterday. And now the air feels like a little bit, maybe a little bit of humidity in it. And it feels like Hawaii to me, like the feelings of being in Hawaii when it rains. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Obviously, it's, Arizona's not Hawaii. But and I think that we obviously. just, I think we just don't ever see the sun in Washington like this. Yeah, not this to this extreme. Trippy. Obviously, the sun comes out in Washington, but it's just not like We're this. We're just gushing over the sun. We are moment. because it's just so different. Um, it's in January, namely. Yeah. We're, we're familiar with January being very cloudy and rainy and cold in Washington, which is the truth. And here it's sunny and, you know, almost 62 degrees. So it's just great. But I had to share this story about that older gentleman because that was really sweet of him. If you're watching this thing. All right, so quick little disclaimer. You guys are probably like, these people are acting like they've never seen the sun in their entire life. What is going on? They're insane. Um, that's, that's justifiable. We haven't. It's been forever. The last two summers in Washington, 
those horrific fires have been happening in California. Um, and Canada. Canada, all around us, these bad fires. And it's caused so much smoke that during, and it's been both summers, the last two years, that you can't really go outside because the air quality is so bad. So yeah, it's been, it's been really bad out, right? air quality. So we haven't been outdoors for the last two summers. Our summers are only two months long, three months long. And then we have an exorbitantly long gray period where it's just like weird weather. It's just horrible. You don't see the sun. Yeah. So we are kind of like just like newborn babies. And we're just like, yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> That's kind of, so disclaimer, sorry guys we're gushing so much. We just can't help it. Yeah. It feels freaking amazing. I almost think I got a little bit of a suntan in two days of being My here. lips are sunburned. I'm a little bit dry. Like, ah, oh, it feels good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I told Wyatt, I'm like, you know, are we gushing too much over this? Because it sounds kind of ridiculous off camera and on camera, um, how much we're talking about the sun. But um, just the side note of this is just fun for us, too. It's just it's just different, you know, and it's always something to gush over when you're trying something new. Yeah, so. you know, maybe in like in three months time when it's really hot here, we'll be yeah, like, when it's blazing. Oh, you hate it, you hate it, it's too much. I yeah. it, but maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see, in. but. We just wanted to share that because the last two summers in Washington have been brutal yeah. and really nasty. When Opal was first born, actually, um, there were a ton of fires, and I mean, it's really sad that there are fire there there it's were fires happening. It's horrible. I can't imagine being or in just yeah. I can't imagine being in California or Canada where they're in the midst of everything, you know. So I, I my heart goes out to those people who are experiencing that firsthand. But getting it secondhand is also really gross because the air quality, like Wyatt said, is really awful. Yeah. It was so bad that. Um, I actually have a sensitivity to it, um, more so than Wyatt does. What? No, I remember. It's yeah. true. Like I had a really hard time breathing, and I don't have asthma or anything like that. But um, when Opal was first born, there were a ton of fires that summer. She was born in May, and there were a ton of fires through June and July. And I remember just being trapped indoors yeah. all summer long, like literally all summer long, because I had a newborn, and I didn't want to get out there in the smoke and. Um, anyway, it's kind of scarred us, but <laughs> now that we're here, it's just kind of nice because we know that we're going to see the sun pretty much every day of our lives here, which is kind of a, a safe feeling because we're not used to that. So, sorry, end rant. All right, first impressions of our new right, home. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see what's up. All right. <gasps> All right, friends, here's where it gets real. When we walk through this house, it was not exactly what we had expected. So we are going to update you guys in our next video and give you guys the official story time and house tour. Stay tuned.